Hi, Nyamza. My name is Sangeeta. I'm from the Hits Weekend Show. Firstly, I just want to congratulate you on your new EP stages. Really, Thank I give you. it a listen. <laughs> You're most welcome. I give it a listen and honestly, could not be more timely for an album to drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. Like honestly, I give it a listen, and every single track just hit right in the feel. How are you feeling so far? Like for your new album, I mean, your new EP being dropped. I'm so excited that it's finally out. You know, it's been a while working on it, so every time I get to finally release something, it's the most exciting thing. And I love hearing the feedback from all my listeners, and even you telling me that just like makes my day. Your music often deals like with themes of love, you know, heartbreak and self reflection. Um, which I can completely can relate to. So how do you approach writing about these emotions and what role does like your personal experience play in like your songwriting process? My personal experience plays pretty much the biggest role, if not like the only role. I write from a very honest place. That's, I think you can hear that throughout the music, especially with stages. It's very clear what it's about. And yeah. I feel yeah. like there's like levels of pettiness in it that feel mm -hmm. really honest. So yeah, it's definitely a personal experience for me to songwrite. I mean, when I listen to stages, I can definitely feel every single lyric, mm -hmm. you know, so I totally get what you're saying. And also, you just dropped your latest self-love anthem, as I would like to call it, emotional, and I give it a listen. Resonated with the lyrics as well, and it, it deals with vulnerability and being able to open up emotionally. And how mm -hmm. important is it for you to address these themes, like, in your music? It's really important. I mean, being vulnerable is part of the human experience. So if I can reflect that in any way in my music, then I'm happy to do so. I mean, it's just the real part of being human. I love that. Completely love that, especially in terms of like, in, in this generation, it's really hard for people to open up and be vulnerable. So, you know, I totally get where you're coming from as well. During your EP release stages, what was the process like, especially with your lead single, Love Again? It's, it, I mean, it was kind of hard to pick singles, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. But I am excited that Love Again is one of them. Love Again was one of the first songs that I wrote for stages. So it feels right that we're leading with that single for the project. Uh, well, I'm curious to know, what was your favorite track from your EP? Ooh, <laughs> I think it varies like day to day. Okay. Um, today, I would say it's Not Sorry. I love that because that is actually my That's favorite my track. That's my energy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, especially the lyrics. Um, I'm a chaos, I'm a dream, and I need someone in deep right here. Yeah. The, yes, the chaos and that. the dream. <laughs> Duality. Um, <laughs> what can fans expect from you in the future? I know you just dropped an EP, but you know, some fans are really curious to know what is going to be coming in in the future. And are there any upcoming projects or like collaborations that you're particularly excited about? I mean, right now I've just been in the studio nonstop. So I am hoping to just continue releasing more and more music this year. I tend to take breaks, you know, between EPs a bunch and I would like to change that a bit and start unleashing everything from the vault. Ooh, okay, there's a vault. All right. Since you there is definitely that, a vault. <laughs> <laughs> since you mentioned that, like, what sort of uh, themes can we expect? Because the latest EP was more onto like heartbreak and like you know self love, right? Could we get like yeah. a little hint, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some, I guess, sweeter songs. Like maybe not so much heartbreak. There's some love songs, <laughs> but also maybe more like introspective versions of songs for me. I have been reflecting a lot more and just like my own brain rather than talking about full-blown relationship issues mm -hmm. in some of the music I've been creating so I am excited to kind of enter that space All right lovely is there like any particularly a particular artist that you're looking forward to like potentially collaborating with I've been really into Fred again lately I would okay. love to collaborate with him I'm throwing okay. that out there Okay. <laughs> well, you you heard her. You heard Yomza. That's something we can expect. Yeah. So, can us Malaysian audience like? I'm pretty sure some of us are pretty much expecting. Could we perhaps see you here someday in Malaysia? That would be so awesome. I've never been, and I would love to come. Like, I would be particularly excited. Like, if if you were headlining <laughs> an event. Yes. If I come, we so. have to meet. Oh my god, I would love that. I would love that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Yomza. Honestly, that is all from me today. But before I go. Is there anything you would like to say to the Malaysian audience? Thank you for tuning in and listen to Stages. I hope you guys love it and I really hope that I can make it over your way soon. You heard her. You heard Nyomza. Be sure to stream Stages now available on all music streaming platforms. Nyomza, thank you so much and I can't wait thank to you. see you soon someday in Malaysia. Yes, thank you so much for your time.